Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for inviting us here in this. Uh... Uh, we are uh, blessed to be part of the Virtual okay. World Singles Conference. Really? Hey, thank you for um, having us today. Hey, yeah. We are. Uh, this I'm, is Joseph. Uh, I'm Marielle. Yeah, uh, we've been uh, together technically for 17 years, and then after, and then we're, we're boyfriend and girlfriend for three years, and then we got married in 2007. So we're, we've been married for uh, 14 years, and we're blessed with three kids, three beautiful daughters. One is 14, one is 10, and one is three. So right now uh, we're based here in Guam. Uh, and uh, we're both teachers here. We teach theology. Uh, I teach in a high school. She teaches in a, in a middle school. Okay. So we're tasked to speak to you about uh, relationships, about uh, the gift of God and being in a romantic relationship. But before we go on, we, we have a lot of uh, tips to give you. But before we, we go there, uh, let us let us lead you into prayer. Okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for bringing all the singles here, all the people that are listening, watching this video. Uh, we thank you for the gift of relationship, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your love for us. We thank you, Lord, for uh, giving us our special someone, our significant other. Um, Lord, we just lift up to you, uh, everyone that's listening. Bless them. Bless them in their relationship. May they grow in their relationship, Lord. And uh, may they may you use their relationship, Lord, for, uh, for your greater glory. So that more people will be inspired and more people will grow close to you because of their relationship. Um, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Because uh, they, they only gave us a couple of minutes for this. So we'll, we'll go right through it. Um, before we give you the tips, later on we'll give you some tips, you know, practical tips that you can use in your relationship. We'll just, uh, we'll, let's establish first some truths about being in a relationship. First, I'd like to you know, congratulate you guys the, for... You know, finding the one, the, the gift. Having of, that special someone. Yeah, right? having that special someone. So, these are three truths about your relationship, about uh, the, this, this relationship that you have. That's why we call it really special. So, number one, uh, your relationship is a gift from God. Uh, it is God who gave that to you. Uh, and you, for most of you, you've been praying hard for it. And now that uh, the Lord has granted it to you, uh, you have to know and you have to realize that it's a, it's a gift from Him. It's, it's from Him. It, it's Him who has uh, given, it, given it to you. And He can also take that away from you, right? If, it's, if your relationship uh, distracts you from distract. being the best version of yeah, yourself. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Second, the truth about relationships is that... Um, you're not supposed to stay as boyfriends and girlfriends forever. Mm -hmm. eh? One day, eh, you're supposed to get married. Eh? The purpose of dating is to prepare for that gift of marriage. And um, so it's not just, this is not just a trial and error. It's mm -hmm. not just practice. Mm -hmm. You're not just um, learning from each other. Mm -hmm. eh? But the goal is one day, your love be, will be um, secured in the gift of marriage and mm -hmm. but of course um, we don't know what is ahead of us mm -hmm. eh? what we know right now is the present moment so we prepare for that mm -hmm. but um, we should be open yes okay we still leave it up to God eh? mm -hmm. we're open to what God leads us mm -hmm. eh? so we don't we don't say that um, sure na tayo na yun yung ending okay eh? but um, we, the direction where your relationship should go is towards that. Yeah, uh, at least that's the end goal, right? That's the end goal. Uh, third, the third thr truth is that um, we have to understand the true meaning of love, right? Because right now in our generation, when we, we're bombarded with so many things, right? So many, yung mga, uh, yung mga definitions of love uh, defined by Hollywood and 
the things that we watch on Netflix. But uh, we have to understand uh, that the true meaning of love, according to St. Thomas, and we study it in Theology of the Body, is that love is willing the good of the other. So if I love you, uh, my, my purpose is, to, is for your is for the best for your 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 yeah you're willing to give yeah so that the person becomes the best version of him or herself yeah. okay so uh, he is first and yeah. you're not there just to take you're yeah. not just there for the benefits yeah. but um, you're loving him or her okay? so that he he or she can become the best person yeah. that he or she has that God wants him or her to yeah. be. The problem with our generation now, it's more like what is what's in it for me? What how can this woman satisfy my needs? Right? So we're 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 too that's that mentality is too ingrained in us. That's why we wanted to share to you that uh, you have to understand that the true meaning of love is willing the good of the other. I'm willing the good of this person that I love. I'm thinking about her first before mine. So that's the true meaning of love. right? If that's the basis of love in your relationship, uh, most likely you'll have a, a very real, very Christ-centered relationship because that's how God loves us. right? That's how God loves us. Uh, he gave himself for us. That's why uh, ultimately the ultimate example of God is of 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 God of love is Jesus Christ. Right? So So yeah. you're willing to sacrifice, mm. to risk, okay, to uh, just always put the other first. Yeah. Okay? Because uh love can't wait to give. Okay? It's not just about getting, but mm. it's always about giving. Okay? Yeah. So so right now we'll proceed with um, tips on how to yeah. pursue beauty and your god-centered relationships okay so number how to one make real relationships yes, okay, so how to make real relationships okay so number one is to always be friends okay yeah. so um why friendship because friendship is should be the foundation of your relationships okay friendship allows you to be true to each other mm -hmm. without pretensions Friendship allows you to be silly, to laugh at each other. Be honest. Also. Yeah, to be honest, to correct each other, mm -hmm. to embrace mm -hmm. each other's imperfections. Okay, to um, just always um, be able to um, uh, communicate mm -hmm. uh, what's within you. Okay, so uh, that's the first thing. Okay, friendship should be the foundation of your relationship. So yeah. always be friends. Always be friends. So the tips that are, are, we're giving is just simple. A, B, C. So the first one is always be friends. Because if the, if the basis of your relationship is friendship, you'll get past... Uh, of course, when you're new in the relationship, I, I'm sure you, 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 all, you guys can relate to this. If you're new in the relationship, there's... Kilig, yeah. There's the, you know, you're 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 excited always to see each other and all that. But as you go along, as you as you, it becomes more steady. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this friendship allows you to be vulnerable, that you have that um security mm. and peace that you're accepted even if you're not at your best, mm -hmm. that um you're willing to stay and be with each other, journey with each other. Okay. So. Um, also being friends mean having meaning having the same goals mm -hmm. journeying towards that okay, so um, that's the first thing that uh, you should keep in mind okay? uh, pursue friendship in your relationships. Uh, there right so second right second or letter B right letter B be intentional now this is our this is one of our favorite phrases right let, let I think uh, we always mention this to our uh, with the people that we talk to uh you know as you guys know relationships are hard work right? and it, it your relationships won't grow uh, won't evolve uh without you doing uh something uh for it right so uh relationships need effort and in order for your relationships to grow you have to be intentional in what you do like for example for example if you want your uh, communication lines to be more open if you want to be more honest to each other uh, it's important kailangan uh, 
uh, kumbaga in in other kakaririn mo yung pag-uusap so kunyari uh, you want to be to communicate more to each other uh, spend some time allocate a time of the day a time of the week that you guys would really talk to each other. There's a difference between just being together like this, right? Like this, watching a movie, watching Netflix, and really talking to each other about what you feel, about uh, your your goals in life, diba? So that there's a difference. So that that's what we mean when we we say intentional. If you you want, oh, I want our relationship to be, you know, our communication to be open. So you have to make time for. Communication. Put in effort, put yeah. in time. Okay. So what he's trying to say is, when you say you want to be intentional in your communication, it means that you're willing to do the hard work in order mm -hmm. for that to happen. Plan times that you're uh, going to sit together and really hear about each other's yeah. day. Uh, you're willing to have that difficult conversation if you nag-away like, kayo. Yeah. You're willing to sit down and talk about it and not just uh, bury it or parang magiging okay na rin yun. Yeah. Ay, so, uh, being intentional means uh, you're willing to invest your time, your effort, your energy yeah. in order to make things happen in your relationship. Ay, so, be intentional in growing individually and yeah. growing together. Um, when you enter into a relationship, you're not, of course, you're in one relationship, but you're still two individual people. Yeah. So be two, not one, because you still have your own interests. Yeah. You don't, re you don't really die eh, yeah. as a person, eh, But you're still very much the person that you are, and that is what actually makes your relationship beautiful because you complement each mm. other, you bring out the best in each other, and um, so grow, uh, pursue your interests, be the best version yeah. of yourself. Like, like, like you, I just like to add on to that. You know, diba you grow as a couple because you're together, but at the same time, you grow as a person, individual persons. That's what she's saying. Plus, mo, mo, a lot of a lot of relationships that we see in the past, and you know, people around us, when they're they're very good uh, single persons, and then when they come together, come together. It's as if the world is blocked off already. The, you know, nakalimutan na yung mga kaibigan, di, wala nang ibang kasama, but sila na lang. Well, that's good, but you have to be, you have to remember also that you live in a world na hindi lang kayo and, you, and the people around you, your friends, uh, they're there to support you and help your relationship grow and help you as well grow. So, yeah. be intentional in that too. Tingnan mo rin, oh, baka parang palagi na lang tayong dalawa magkasama. Hindi na natin nakakasama yung mga kaibigan natin. Ah. Or, in, or, wala yeah. na. Because your relationship is supposed to also, not just be, you're not just a gift to each other, but you're also a gift yes. to others. Yeah. So, you also have to be open to other people mm -hmm. enriching your relationship. Yeah. Okay, so, um, of course, because we belong in a community, we belong to um, a bigger society, and every person eh, can allow you to uh, discover more ways to love each mm -hmm. other. And at the same time, um, allow you to know uh, areas of improvement in your own yeah. life. So, um, be intentional in yeah, growing individually and growing together as a couple, eh, bringing out the best in each other. Yeah. Another thing, be intentional also in uh, knowing and accepting each other. Uh, you have to understand that you're both individuals and then you'll, you'll, you'll be together in a relationship. Uh, she's a different individual. She was raised differently. She, her, her mindset is different from mine. Although, although ba, at one point, parang nagkakaisa na yung utak niyo but you're two different individuals so there will be times there will be times that uh, uh you'll disagree diba? or there will be times that probably the other person is having a bad day uh and then you, you don't understand why is this happening so be intentional also in understanding each other so kami we, we have this uh unspoken rule unspoken rule na seek first to understand right before i judge her before i attack her i'll think about oh maybe she's 
she's going through some something today that's why she's like that that's why she's a little bit masungit or ganun din siya or maybe gutom na si Joseph kasi kaya siya masungit you know so so be intentional in those little things kasi when 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 you seek first to understand you'll get to avoid yung mga unnecessary conflict unnecessary um, arguments na hindi naman kailangan sa relationship. Yeah. I think overall, when you say you're being intentional in your relationship, it means that um, you have these goals mm -hmm. and um, having these goals in mind, alam mo na these goals doesn't just happen by accident or by chance. You don't leave it to chance. Mm -hmm. um, if you want them to happen, then you have to do your part to be able to achieve that goal in your relationship. Okay, so that's being intentional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So letter A. Uh, always be always friends. Always be friends. Uh, that's the basis. Uh, if you're friends, then honesty, you know. Uh, you'll kindness. Kindness, yeah. You'll enjoy more. Yes. You'll enjoy more uh, the relationship because it's more than the kilig. It's more than the, you know, it's more than the kiss and hug and holding us it but brings us stability yeah. in your relationship yeah. and then letter b is be intentional letter c is yeah. letter c is very important you consecrate your the most your, important the most important consecrate your relationship to god that's the that's really the most important thing remember we said basis this is a gift from god bigay ng dios regalo ng dios some people nga they call they call each other your god's gift to me yeah, yeah. Okay, so to consecrate, consecrate means it's not just any kind of relationship, mm -hmm. but it's a relationship that is holy. Mm -hmm. It's a relationship, as he said, that comes from God and is also a gift to God. Mm -hmm. okay, so um, first, okay, how do you consecrate your relationship? First, you have to, again, para connected to the letter B, you also have to be intentional in, in making your relationship holy. So... Uh, be pure in your relationship. Uh, yeah, uh, be uh, will will be very direct. Will be very honest with you. Yeah, be pure. Be be chaste in your relationship. Yeah. You, know, you know it. Cause you you love each other and you can't get enough of each other. You know you want to be physical. You're attracted to each other, right? You're attracted to each other. And sometimes you know you want to be physical with each other. But re remember, um, there are more ways. Of showing your love for each other than you know, making out or 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 premarital sex. Uh, okay, so yeah. because uh, chastity means uh, you're truthful mm -hmm. with the language of your body. Mm -hmm. Dahil boyfriend girlfriend palang kayo. Yeah. Meron mga certain things na yun lang yung pwede yung gawin. Yeah. And when you say you're being chased, then you're willing to stay in that zone. Yeah. Okay, you're not uh, not you're not going to act as if you're married. You're a married yeah. couple because you're not. Okay? Yeah. So okay, that's what Joseph means. Yeah. Your the language of your body should be an invitation to love mm -hmm. and not to lust. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah. because I love you, I respect you this much. That's why I'm willing to, I'm willing to uh, uh, good of the other. You, I'm thinking about your good. I won't force what's not uh, right right now. Uh, yeah, and so come in, what what we did when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, we have that 10, 10 p.m. rule. Uh, I believe uh, uh, after 10 p.m., after 10 p.m., even if you pray every day, you go to mass every day, after 10 p.m. and you're alone with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend, nobody's nobody's in the house or everybody's everybody's in the room, and you're just, it's just the two of you. you the, my principle after 10 p.m., parang a lot of things are in your mind. You want to do a lot of things already. Yeah. So, temptation is real. Yeah, yeah. Temptation, kasi nga, you love each other. Eh. You, you, want to, you want to show your affection to each other. So, I mean, when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, after 10 p.m., pag 10 p.m. on the dot, alis na ako. I have to leave. Even if we're, watch, we're still watching a movie or we're still watching a TV show, I'll tell her I have to leave because I have to go because... Uh, and then sometimes she'd ask, oh, but Alice can have, but we forget. But we'll, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll, we'll say that, no, it's already 10 p.m. This is my way of respecting you. And this is our way also of uh, 
you know, being chaste, being pure, being consecrating our relationship with God. True enough, uh, mahirap siya talaga. I'm just being honest, mahirap siya talaga. Uh, but kaya. Hindi yung mahirap pero kaya. So, hindi and then, mahirap tas wag na lang. Oh, 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 hindi mo ikamamatay. Hindi mo ikamamatay. Uh, mahirap kasi nga, you want to be with each other, but kaya. And the the rewards are worth it. You know, when we uh, when when we got married, uh, the joy uh, more than you more than yung saya ng wedding day, but the joy of uh, knowing that you remain pure in your relationship and and you know that it's your gift to each other and your gift to God when when we were facing God in the altar. The joy and the fulfillment is uh, uh, uncomparable. So that's one way of consecrating your relationship to God. Ano pa? And then adore God together. Mm -hmm. uh, God is the giver of that gift. So wag, wag niyong kalimutan si God. Pray. That's yeah. Basic. Pray together. Yeah. Go to Mass together. Uh, be active in community together. Serve together. Yeah, serve together. Okay, kasi yeah. um, some people you meet in community. Yeah. Uh, you meet while you're serving, and then uh, because uh, of that relationship. Nung kayo na nakalimutan mo naman. Parang hindrance na yung community, community. in uh, your relationship. Yeah. So um, don't forget that um, uh, serving together will actually enrich yeah. your relationship. It will um, allow you to uh, love each other yeah. more because um, you're loving other people more. Yeah. Uh, just one note: when you, when you're serving together, you know. Serve with other people then. Yeah, you serve together as as a couple. Pero don't serve naman na kain dalawa lang, di ba? Kain dalawa lang sa music ministry. You know, you you, you that's what we're saying. Uh, the in uh, previously that you grow. Also, you you know you serve with others. But yeah, you're serving as a couple, but you also serve with others and you grow. You you and 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 then enlarge your your circle. Yeah, widen your circle. Yeah, widen your circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pray, uh, you know, do novenas together. Yeah. yeah. Most importantly, really, mm. uh, have that uh, relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the love that you will give yeah. to uh, your boyfriend or your girlfriend should actually come from God. He's the source. So uh, you have to really connect to Him in order yeah. to love uh, your boyfriend or your girlfriend in the best way that you can. Yeah. So, so there. So, Basic tips, A, B, C, uh, always be friends, you know, be intentional in what you do, your goals in your relationship, and of course, the most important one, consecrate your uh, relationship to God. Final words. Okay, hopefully, uh, these tips will allow you to um, grow in the beauty of relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, God has a design for a relationship, so, um, but... In order for us to fully experience the beauty of that relationship, uh, we must look to Him because uh, He has the greatest plans. Yeah. yeah. So always remember you're, you're in a relationship because it's a gift from God. That's, that's so beautiful being, being in that relationship. Your, your, your significant other is a gift from God. So if it's a gift from God, uh, the challenge is also to make your relationship a gift to Him as well. Uh, by making him the center of your relationship, by committing to chastity, you know, by loving each other, by seeing the good in each other. So, uh, again, it's a gift. Uh, we're excited that uh, uh, one day we'll, we'll hear you guys or we'll see you guys get married. Uh, if it's that, if that's God's plan for you and you get to experience fully the 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 sacrament of matrimony all right amen thank you for uh, uh inviting us and uh giving and listening to us uh, speak about relationships uh, this is one of our uh, passions in life so we'll, we'll pray for them yes. in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen we thank you again lord for bringing us here and bless all the the couples that are that are listening that are watching lord May you continue to uh, be at the center of their relationship, uh, guide them, uh, give them understanding, Lord God, uh, 
expand their hearts for each other so that they would they would really see each other with love uh, see each other's beauty Lord God and uh, we lift up to you um, the times of uh, confusion and conflict Lord may they seek first to understand and Lord we lift them up to you and may you be may you sit at the center of their relationship so their relationship will not only bless others but more importantly give glory to your name in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. God bless you guys. Thank you.